Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Karishma Manchanda from the Akashic Records Academy. If you are new here, a warm welcome to you and all my regular subscribers. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, I am a master instructor on healing with Akashic Records. I am also the author of best-selling books such as Cracking the Code of Akashic Records, which is available on Amazon. Today, we will be diving into another thought-provoking topic on healing with Akashic Records. But before we proceed, I would like to ask for a small favor. If you could take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world to me. This will help us take healing with Akashic Records to a wider audience who need this information. Thank you once again, and now let's get started. So, let us begin by understanding what are chakras. Chakras are energy centers that are present in our bodies. The term chakra is derived from the Sanskrit word for wheel or disc. These energy centers are believed to be the centers of our physical, emotional, and spiritual energies. Seven main chakras are located along the spine, starting from the base of the spine and ending at the crown of the head. Each of the seven chakras is associated with a particular color, sound, and element. They are also connected to specific organs and glands in the body. When the chakras are in balance, our physical, emotional, and spiritual energies are also in balance. However, if the chakras are blocked or imbalanced, it can lead to various physical, emotional, and spiritual problems. To maintain balance and harmony in our chakras, it is important to practice energy healing techniques such as meditation, yoga, reiki, and other holistic therapies. By using the Akashic Records to balance our chakras, we can deepen our understanding of our energy centers and create a more harmonious and fulfilling life. What are the chakras in the physical human body and what is the role of each? Chakras are energy centers in the human body that are believed to be connected to physical, emotional and spiritual well-being. There are seven main chakras located along the spine, from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Each chakra has a specific role in the human body. Root Chakra, also called Muladhara. Located at the base of the spine, this chakra is associated with survival and grounding. It is connected to the adrenal glands and is responsible for providing physical energy and strength. Sacral Chakra, also called Swadhisthana. Located in the lower abdomen, this chakra is associated with creativity and sexuality. It is connected to the reproductive organs and is responsible for regulating emotions, pleasure, and sensuality. Solar Plexus Chakra, also called Manipura. Located in the upper abdomen, this chakra is associated with personal power and self-confidence. It is connected to the pancreas and is responsible for regulating metabolism and digestion. Heart Chakra, also called Anahata. Located in the center of the chest, this chakra is associated with love and relationships. It is connected to the thymus gland and is responsible for regulating the immune system. Throat Chakra, also called Vishuddha. Located in the throat, this chakra is associated with communication and self-expression. It is connected to the thyroid gland and is responsible for regulating metabolism and growth. Third Eye Chakra, also called Agya. Located between the eyebrows, this chakra is associated with intuition and perception. It is connected to the pituitary gland and is responsible for regulating the endocrine system. Crown Chakra, also called Sahasrara. Located at the top of the head, this chakra is associated with spirituality and enlightenment. It is connected to the pineal gland and is responsible for regulating sleep and circadian rhythms. 
Each chakra is believed to be associated with certain physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of our being. When one or more chakras become blocked or imbalanced, it can lead to physical or emotional symptoms such as anxiety, depression, or chronic pain. Balancing the chakras through practices such as meditation, yoga, or energy healing can help to restore balance and improve overall well-being. So, how do these chakras get blocked? Chakras can become blocked due to a variety of factors, including emotional, mental, and physical issues. Here are some examples of how each chakra can become blocked. Root Chakra The root chakra can become blocked due to fear, insecurity, or trauma. This can manifest as physical issues such as lower back pain, constipation, or problems with the legs and feet. Sacral Chakra The sacral chakra can become blocked due to feelings of guilt or shame, repressed emotions, or sexual trauma. This can manifest as physical issues such as menstrual problems, fertility issues, or lower back pain. Solar Plexus Chakra The solar plexus chakra can become blocked due to feelings of powerlessness, low self-esteem, or stress. This can manifest as physical issues such as digestive problems, liver issues, or adrenal fatigue. Heart Chakra The heart chakra can become blocked due to feelings of grief, loss, or emotional pain. This can manifest as physical issues such as heart problems, asthma, or upper back pain. Throat Chakra the throat chakra can become blocked due to fear of expressing oneself, feeling unheard or misunderstood, or repressed emotions. This can manifest as physical issues such as throat problems, thyroid issues, or neck pain. Third Eye Chakra The third eye chakra can become blocked due to a lack of clarity, confusion, or being out of touch with one's intuition. This can manifest as physical issues such as headaches, eye problems, or sinus issues. Crown Chakra The crown chakra can become blocked due to a lack of spiritual connection or feeling disconnected from one's purpose. This can manifest as physical issues such as migraines, neurological issues, or depression. One question I often get asked is are there more than these seven chakras? What about higher chakras? Yes, in addition to the seven major chakras, there are also higher chakras that are believed to exist beyond the physical body. These higher chakras are associated with the spiritual and etheric realms and are often referred to as the transpersonal chakras or the higher octave chakras. Several different systems describe the higher chakras, and the number and location of these chakras can vary depending on the tradition. One common system includes three higher chakras above the crown chakra, which are often referred to as the soul star, causal, and stellar gateway chakras. These chakras are believed to correspond to higher levels of consciousness and spiritual development. The Soul Star Chakra, located above the Crown Chakra, is associated with the soul's purpose and life path. The Causal Chakra, located above the Soul Star Chakra, is associated with the individual's connection to the collective unconscious and the higher dimensions of existence. The Stellar Gateway Chakra, located above the Causal Chakra, is associated with the individual's connection to the divine and the source of all creation. Some systems also describe additional chakras below the root chakra, which are associated with the earth and the physical realm. These chakras are sometimes referred to as the earth star and subpersonal or transpersonal chakras. It's important to note that while these higher chakras may not be as well known or widely recognized as the seven major chakras, they can still play an important role in spiritual development and energy healing.
However, it's also important to approach these concepts with an open mind and to use discernment when exploring them, as there is often limited scientific evidence to support these ideas. Some different interpretations and systems include higher chakras beyond the seven commonly known ones. Here is one possible list of higher chakras and their general functions. Eighth chakra, also called soul star or seat of the soul. Connection to higher self, spiritual guidance, divine wisdom, and soul purpose. Ninth chakra, also called spirit. Connection to spirit, higher realms, divine inspiration, and spiritual awakening. Tenth chakra, also called universal. Connection to universal energy, oneness, and the collective consciousness of humanity and all life. Eleventh chakra, also called galactic. Connection to galactic energies, star systems, and other dimensions beyond the earth. Twelfth chakra, also called divine gateway or Christ consciousness. Connection to divine love, unity consciousness, and the highest spiritual truths. Then there is the Earth Star Chakra, also called the Zeroth Chakra. The term Earth Star Chakra is not widely recognized within traditional chakra systems. In traditional Hindu and Buddhist teachings, there are seven main chakras that are commonly referenced and studied. These chakras are believed to be energy centers or wheels of spinning energy located along the central axis of the body. However, in certain New Age and esoteric spiritual practices, the concept of the Earth Star Chakra has emerged. It is sometimes considered an additional chakra, located below the feet, outside of the physical body, in the Earth's energy field. This chakra is believed to connect individuals to the Earth's energy and serve as an anchor for grounding and stability. The Earth Star Chakra is thought to be associated with a person's connection to the physical world and their ability to manifest their desires and intentions in a practical and tangible way. It is said to help individuals establish a strong foundation and grounding in their lives, allowing them to navigate the physical realm with stability and clarity. It's important to note that the Earth Star Chakra is not universally recognized or accepted within all spiritual traditions. Its relevance and interpretation can vary depending on individual beliefs and practices. If you are interested in exploring the Earth Star Chakra further, I recommend consulting with practitioners who specialize in this particular aspect of energy work or researching materials from reputable sources in the New Age and esoteric spirituality communities. It's important to note that these chakras are not physical structures, but rather subtle energy centers that correspond to different aspects of consciousness and existence. The opening and activation of these chakras are often seen as part of a spiritual journey or path towards greater awareness, expansion, and alignment with one's true nature. These higher chakras, also known as the transpersonal chakras, are located beyond the seven major chakras in the body. These chakras are responsible for spiritual development, higher consciousness, and connection to the divine. However, these chakras are often blocked for most human beings due to various factors such as trauma, negative beliefs, and societal conditioning. It is important to understand that as we transcend the chakras of the physical body, Transpersonal chakras start getting activated. And as and when the soul is ready and will master these five transpersonal chakras, super transpersonal chakras will start to find their way to our consciousness. It is an endless process till we merge back with the divine, the creator of all that is. So, what is the role of Akashic Records in identifying the root cause of the blockage of these chakras? The Akashic Records can be a valuable tool in identifying the root cause of blockages in the chakras. These blockages can be caused by various factors such as past traumas, negative belief patterns, or unprocessed emotions. 
Through accessing the Akashic records, an individual can gain insights into their past lives, soul contracts, and karmic imprints that may be contributing to their current energetic imbalances. For instance, an individual may have experienced a traumatic event in a past life that has left a deep emotional imprint on their soul. This emotional wound can manifest as a blockage in their heart chakra in the present life. Through accessing the Akashic records, they can gain insight into this past life event and begin to heal the emotional wound, thus releasing the blockage in their heart chakra. Additionally, the Akashic records can provide information on any negative belief patterns or thought processes that may be contributing to chakra blockages. By identifying and releasing these patterns, an individual can release the associated blockages and balance their chakras. The use of Akashic records can assist in identifying the root cause of the blockage in each of these chakras. For example, the 8th chakra, also called also known as the Soul Star Chakra, is responsible for connecting with the Divine and accessing higher states of consciousness. A blockage in this chakra can lead to feelings of disconnection and spiritual disorientation. Through accessing the Akashic records, individuals can identify the root cause of the blockage, which could be past life trauma or negative beliefs. Once the root cause is identified, individuals can use various techniques such as meditation, visualization, and energy healing to open and activate these chakras. For example, to open the 8th chakra, individuals can visualize a beam of white light coming down from the heavens and entering the crown of the head. This light can be felt moving through the body, filling it with divine energy and opening the soul star chakra. In addition to visualization and energy healing techniques, individuals can also use affirmations and intention setting to open and activate the higher chakras. By setting a clear intention and repeating affirmations that align with the qualities of each chakra, individuals can create a powerful energetic shift in their being, which can accelerate their ascension process. It's important to note that opening and activating the higher chakras requires a strong foundation in spiritual practices and self-awareness. It's recommended that individuals work with a trained practitioner or spiritual teacher to assist in the process of opening these chakras, especially when working with the Akashic records. With dedication and practice, individuals can access the divine wisdom and power that resides within the higher chakras, leading to a deeper sense of spiritual connection and ascension. Overall, the Akashic records can be a powerful tool in identifying the root cause of chakra blockages and supporting individuals in their healing journey towards energetic balance and harmony. So, how can Akashic records be used to activate higher chakras? The Akashic records can be a powerful tool to activate higher chakras as they can provide insight into the spiritual and energetic blockages that may be preventing their activation. Here are some steps to use the Akashic Records to activate higher chakras. Prepare yourself. As with any spiritual practice, it is important to prepare yourself before accessing the Akashic Records. This can involve setting an intention, practicing meditation, or using other techniques to ground and center yourself. Connect with your Akashic Records. There are different ways to connect with the Akashic Records, but one popular method is to use a specific prayer or intention to request access. You can also work with a practitioner who is trained in accessing the records. Focus on the higher chakras. Once you have accessed the Akashic Records, focus your attention on the higher chakras. You can ask for guidance on how to activate and balance these chakras and for any information on blockages that may be preventing their activation. Use the information to act. The information you receive from the Akashic Records can be used to act towards activating your higher chakras. 
This may involve specific practices such as meditation or energy healing or making changes in your life to support your spiritual growth. Practice regularly. Like any spiritual practice, activating your higher chakras requires regular practice and dedication. Incorporate the guidance you receive from the Akashic records into your daily routine and continue to work with the records to deepen your understanding and connection with your higher chakras. Alternatively, you can also use the higher chakra activation meditation available on my YouTube channel or access fifth dimensional chakra healing meditations available on this channel which takes you so much deeper into a transcendental journey of healing the seven chakras of the physical body it is important to note that accessing the akashic records to activate higher chakras should be done with respect and caution it is recommended to work with a trained practitioner or guide as they can provide support and guidance throughout the process Now, let us talk about how the opening of the higher chakras assists in the ascension. In spiritual terms, ascension refers to the process of expanding consciousness and evolving towards a higher state of being. It involves moving beyond the limitations of the physical world and connecting with higher dimensions of existence. The opening of the higher chakras plays a significant role in the process of ascension. These chakras, also known as the transpersonal chakras, are located above the crown chakra and connect us with higher spiritual realms. When these chakras are activated and balanced, they allow us to access higher levels of consciousness, connect with our higher self, and receive guidance from higher spiritual beings. This can lead to a greater understanding of our purpose in life. an expansion of our spiritual gifts and abilities and a deepening of our connection with the divine the akashic records can be used to support the opening of the higher chakras by providing information about past lives spiritual contracts and soul missions that may be blocking the expansion of consciousness the records can also offer guidance on specific practices such as meditation energy work and connecting with spiritual guides that can help to activate these chakras by working with the akashic records to activate the higher chakras individuals may experience a greater sense of purpose inner peace and connection to the divine this can ultimately lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful life and support their journey towards ascension now let us talk about how the opening of the higher chakras assists in the ascension in spiritual terms ascension refers to the process of expanding consciousness and evolving towards a higher state of being it involves moving beyond the limitations of the physical world and connecting with higher dimensions of existence the opening of the higher chakras plays a significant role in the process of ascension These chakras, also known as the transpersonal chakras, are located above the crown chakra and connect us with higher spiritual realms. When these chakras are activated and balanced, they allow us to access higher levels of consciousness, connect with our higher self, and receive guidance from higher spiritual beings. This can lead to a greater understanding of our purpose in life, an expansion of our spiritual gifts and abilities. and a deepening of our connection with the divine the akashic records can be used to support the opening of the higher chakras by providing information about past lives spiritual contracts and soul missions that may be blocking the expansion of consciousness the records can also offer guidance on specific practices such as meditation energy work and connecting with spiritual guides that can help to activate these chakras By working with the akashic records to activate the higher chakras individuals may experience a greater sense of purpose inner peace and connection to the divine 
this can ultimately lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful life and support their journey towards ascension. At the Akashic Records Academy, we offer a variety of courses designed to help you deepen your connection to the Akashic Records and accelerate your personal growth and transformation. Our courses are taught by experienced trainers and mentors who are dedicated to helping you achieve your highest potential. At the Akashic Records Academy, we offer a range of courses designed to help you access Akashic Records and accelerate your personal growth and transformation. Our courses are designed to be accessible to anyone, regardless of your level of experience with the Akashic Records. One of our specialty practices is a karmic clearing process, which is designed to help you identify and release negative patterns that may be holding you back from achieving your highest potential. Students learn this technique in Level 3 of the Healing with Akashic Records course. Through this course, you will learn how to access the Akashic Records, identify karmic patterns that may be affecting your life, and release them in a safe and supportive environment. If you are interested in becoming an Akashic Records consultant and helping others access Akashic Records to accelerate their personal growth and transformation, we offer a certification program that will give you the skills and knowledge you need to work with clients in a professional capacity. Know that the Akashic Records are a powerful tool for personal growth and transformation. By accessing the Akashic Records, you can gain insight into your soul's purpose, release negative patterns, and manifest abundance and success in all areas of your life. Whether you are a seasoned spiritual practitioner or just beginning your journey, the Akashic Records have something to offer you. If you are interested in learning more about Akashic Records and how they can help you achieve your highest potential, we invite you to explore the courses offered by the Akashic Records Academy and begin your journey today. I hope you found this video insightful. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates.